you know, was pleased with our effort after, um, you know, the first four minutes. I'm not quite sure what team showed up, but uh, we corrected ourselves and. Uh, I thought from the you know probably about the 15 minute mark of the, of the first half up until the last six or seven minutes there of the game, I thought we did a great job of uh, really focusing in on uh, what we've been trying to teach these guys from day one. Um, I thought we competed on the defensive end. We didn't make a lot of mistakes on a team who actually, regardless of what level they are, they're they're a tough team to guard. I mean, they're a team that went down to Texas, played two very good Division II teams in Dallas Baptist and St. Edwards, and scored 90 plus points on both teams. And so it was going to be a good challenge for us to uh, to really minimize their three point attempts because we felt like they were a team if they were to come in uh, and make a bunch of threes, that's how they could stay in the game. We didn't feel like they could beat us by making twos. And so our main goal going into this game was to really make sure we found Brett Brady, uh, number 20, uh, Andre Lane, and really try to minimize the number of three-point attempts they took, not not just in terms of makes, but minimize the attempts. And uh, Brett Brady ended up with one when he was averaging four and a half threes a game uh, coming in. Andre Lane's a guy that shot 50% from the three last year on 80 makes. He only, he only got one attempt up. So our guys did a great job of, of identifying those guys in the scouting report. Their leading scorer, Ty McGee, coming into the game, averaged 24 and a half, yeah, was averaging 23 and a half a game coming in. Jonah Radabaugh did a great job of understanding the scouting report, understanding that he was a right driver and uh, limited him to seven points. So um, when you can do that, um, you know, and when you can guard on the defensive end, you're going to give yourself, I don't care who you're playing, whether it's an NAI school, Division II school, Division I school, it starts on the defensive end. I thought our defense is what led our offense. Um, it kind of broke us out of that little slump there. And uh, by getting stops, we were able to push the ball. And we're a pretty good team in transition with Jordan Davis um, and Galata running the wings. And, um, you know, and that shows too tonight with our assist to turnover ratio. I mean, we, we had 19 assists. We had 10 turnovers going into that last six minutes. We had a couple there late. Um, but 19 to 13 is going to be pretty good uh, on most nights. And, um, you know, it's, it, was, it was a good collective effort. And now hopefully we can uh, make our way uh, out to the Bay Area and, and, and give ourselves a chance against Santa Clara on Saturday. Who did you say Jonah was mainly responsible for? Uh, Jonah's assignment all night long was, uh, was Ty McGee, number 15, who was their leading scorer coming into the game. Did you see uh, enough of what you wanted or needed to see tonight? Yeah, no, I thought, um, you know, I think we were able to get some of these guys. I thought Ebe. Um, you know, Butler kind of uh, got a little shell shock, and for him to kind of break out a little bit, um, you know, against uh, you know against a team that you know he should get a double double, and uh, you know I think that was good for his confidence. Uh, I think that you know I mean look at what Jonah did. I mean there's a guy that probably if you would have asked him five months ago. Uh, you know, if he would even be playing in a Division One game, let alone starting and playing uh, 25 minutes and getting a double double, I mean, you probably think you're lying. But you know, as I've shown in my past and, and who I've worked for, it doesn't matter if you're a scholarship player or a walk-on player. I mean, if you're going to do what we feel like are the things that help you win games, you know, we're going to play. And that's where at Boise State we had two, uh, you know, we had two two guys that started for us that were walk-ons on two NCAA tournament teams. And, and Jonah, I mean, he's shown from day one that whatever you tell him, he's going to do it, and he's not going to make mistakes, especially on the defensive end. Um, and my hat's off to him, man. He just he, he did a great job tonight. Um, going, going back to that, in, in terms of what you said, is it? Are you? You know, it's just it's two games in a couple exhibitions, but is this? Are you? Are you really establishing some solid depth here? Not just being able to put somebody out there for two minutes to give somebody a breather, but put somebody out there that's that's productive for you. Yeah, I mean, I think we're starting to figure out what our rotation is going to be. I mean, when you only really have ten, you know, eleven really kind of healthy bodies. I mean, there's not. There's not a lot of options. And you know, when you're dealing with a younger team, especially a team that's pretty much made up of, of freshmen and sophomores, you know, some nights you're not quite sure what you're gonna get. I thought Robbie, um, you know, he didn't have a great look to him tonight. Um, but you know, I thought uh, you know, these other guys, you know, stepped up in their place. I thought DJ actually had a really couple better days of practice leading up to this game. Uh, it was good for him to kind of get off the schneid a little bit. Uh, and then Kyle Carey, who's a guy that hasn't practiced really for a month, and for him to um, What's the matter with, with, with the hamstring, he had a hamstring yeah. strain, and so for him, you know, he's still trying to get his feel for things, and he's a guy that we need to get on track because you know you saw at the end there with the uh, the dunk he has. I mean, he he has a high talent level, but 
you know, for him, you know, the difference between, as I've told him, between him and Jonah is that, you know, Jonah understands his assignment every time down the floor. And, uh, you know, but hopefully Kyle, he'll keep, you know, figuring that out. And if he does, he's going to turn into a really good player. You played everybody, no? Uh, yes, played everybody. Played um, what, what kind of adjustment or difference will this bunch have to make going against a Santa Clara as opposed to Colorado Christian? Uh, you know, Santa Clara's a, you know, a lot in the same boat that we are. You know, it's a, a new coaching staff, uh, you know, new team. Got a very good player in Jared Brownrich, who's one of the better scorers in the country. Uh, their starting point guard, who was a really good player last year, Fegans, he's actually out with an injury right now. So, you know, they're not playing a lot of guys, and they're probably in a lot of ways in the same boat we are. But, uh, you know, I, I really like the resolve, and they're fighting our guys. And we showed, I mean, we went to Butler, you know, a top 25 NCAA tournament team. We didn't show up and played scared. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, they just, they kind of wore us down. And without Jordan in there that last 12 minutes, it made it tough. But, you know, these guys, if they've, they've shown, you know, they've shown some toughness and they're going to compete. And that's all we're going to ask for as we go on the road here for this next 12, 15 days. That, that's what I was getting at. You're going to go on the road for a good stretch here. Is that going to answer some other questions about this team for you in terms of being on the road for that many in a row? That's that's, I'm assuming, like, without looking, that's probably your longest road trip, don't? Yeah, that's going to be uh, it's going to be a minor league baseball trip. Um, you know, at the hardest part is going to be for these guys to to miss the number of days of school leading up to the finals. But you know, I think what the, you know in ter terms of being a good team, in order to be a, to establish yourself as a good program, you got to learn how to win on the road. And uh, you know, we're going to get a great opportunity at Santa Clara. Uh, you know, we can't look ahead to, to Arizona or to Vegas, but, you know, I think right now, I mean, we're just going to look forward to the challenge of going to Santa Clara and, and trying to compete to win. Okay. I don't know anything else. Thank you. Thank you.